I'm Lee. I'm the FPNA Technology Director at Repelwood. This is the second video in a three-part series that's designed to show you how to use plan analytics to create a brand new cube. In the first part of our series, we created dimensions. We created three dimensions using three different mechanisms. One dimension was a time dimension that we used via a wizard. One dimension was a sales rep dimension that we created using a file. And one dimension was a measures dimension that we used by manually creating two elements. The goal now is to put the three dimensions together and create a cube. The way that we're going to create a cube is we're simply going to right click on the word cubes and we're going to choose the option that says create cube. Okay. Well, in our previous session, we talked about prefixes and the Revelwood approach of using prefixes is to bring pieces together as one unified whole. We previously gave a prefix of demo to all of our dimensions. We're going to do the same concept in our cube name. So in this particular case, the first step that we're going to do is create the cube name and we're going to call this cube demo to give it the prefix, sales to give it the demo, to, to give it the name of the cube. Once we've done that, then we're simply going to bring in our dimensions. So I have a list of all my available dimensions in no particular order and I'm going to scroll down to these specific dimensions that we were referencing before. And you're going to see that we've got the demo sales measure, the demo sales rep, the demo sales time. So the first dimension that I want to put in this cube is sales rep. And the way that I'm going to do it is I'm simply going to double click on the available dimensions. And when I double click, it moves it into the dimension for the cube. Next dimension I'm going to put in is I'm going to put in time. So I can use the same approach, but another methodology that I can use is I can click on time. I could click on the button to add the dimension to the cube. And when I click on that button, it brings it over from the left to the right, brings it over from the available dimensions into the cube dimensions. And I'm going to do the same thing for the measure. I'm going to click on measure, I'm going to click on the arrow, and now I have three dimensions in order. If I decide that I don't want the dimensions in that order, I can move them up and down, but I'm going to keep them in this order and I'm simply going to click on create. Well, what happened is as soon as I clicked on create, two things happened. The first thing that happened is the cube was created and I know that the cube was created because now if I click on the plus next to cubes, I have a list of all of the cubes that are in my system. And as I get down to D, I can see that there's demo sales. And when I drill in and when I dig down into demo sales, I can see the dimensions, I can see the order that I defined. The second thing that the wizard did is it created an initial view for me. It created this initial view for the purpose of showing me these are your dimensions, this is a layout, here's your data. So now that I've created a cube, the next step is to load data into the cube. And there are a lot of different mechanisms that I can use to load data into a cube. I can click on my keyboard and I can plug in numbers via views, via input templates, via various mechanisms. I can use Excel spreadsheets and, and build formulas to grab from an existing Excel spreadsheet and load it into the planning analytics system. For purposes of this exercise, what we're going to do is we're going to use a file. I have a file, I have data, I want to take that data and load it into the system. So I've created a structured file in a text format, which is my demo data, and it lists my sales reps, it lists my time period, it lists the various values that we're loading into the system. The way that I can load data is simply drag and drop. I'm going to click on this file, I'm going to drag it down to the system, and I'm going to go right to the name of the cube. And by letting go right on top of the name of the cube, a wizard's going to appear. And this wizard is going to look very similar to what you saw in the first session. The concept of a wizard is to just have me define the file and let the system load it. Define the file. First thing I want to do is define the structure. I'm going to determine my header rows. I'm going to determine the delimiter approach. In this particular case, it's a text file, one header, common delimited. Now, it's also going to ask me, what do I want to do with any existing data? Do I want to clear any data that's already in the system? No, I don't want to clear it. Maybe I want to clear the entire cube. And this gives us a process approach. This gives us the methodology to determine, do I want to replace the data that's in the system? Do I want to keep the data that's in the system? And this is where we work together during the course of our design sessions originally to determine what's best for your organization. A lot of different approaches, a lot of different mechanisms. This gives us the wizard to determine what do we want to do. It also gives us the, the wizard to determine what do we want to do with any data that's there? If we determine that we're not clearing data, do we want to accumulate? Do we want to overwrite? And it also comes into play for the records. 
if I have two different records that go to the same intersection, do I want to accumulate to ensure that both sets of records get loaded, or do I want to overwrite where I make sure that the last record is going to be the final version? Once I've created the definition of what I want to do, now I just define my columns. Similar in nature to what we saw earlier with the dimensions, each column we're simply going to define by clicking on the dropdown, and within the dropdown, it's going to fill in something. In this particular case, that word something means the dimensions. We knew that we built a cube with three dimensions. Now we want to associate each column with one of the dimensions. First column, we're going to associate with the sales rep. Second column, we're going to associate with time. Third column, we're going to associate with the measure. Once we've defined those three, the final step, define our values. So within the values, we're going to click down a drop, we're going to click on the drop down, and we're going to load it either as a text value or a numeric. Well, this is sales data. It's a set of numbers. We're going to click it as a numeric value. We filled in the wizard. We've told the system, how do I read the file? What do I do with any existing data? What do I do with the next set of data? And then I click on import. And what the system will do is it will go through each record. It will look at each record, figure out where to load it. It will give us a status update of how many records were loaded. And when I click OK, it's going to come back and bring me back to that view. So now what I have the ability to do is I have the ability to refresh. And you can see that my sales data was loaded. And the final step of building this cube, now what we want to do is we want to calculate our commissions. So we'll do something real simple. We'll say that commissions are 25% of our sales. The way that we can create a calculation is I can right click on that same cube from before. I can choose the option to say edit business rules. And I now have another wizard. The calculation formulas that we build into planning analytics are the exact same calculation formulas that you would use in Excel. So I want to define my commission. I'm simply going to type commission. And in Excel, I would say, let me take a value, multiply it by a number. We're going to do the same thing here. I'm going to say, take my sales number. We're going to multiply it by 25%, 0.25. And I'm going to say that's the end of my rule by putting a semicolon at the end. I can now save it. And by clicking on that Save button, I've just built logic into plain analytics that will calculate our commissions. When I go back and look at that view from before, next time I recalculate, I now see a result. So we now have a commissions value that's going to be 25% of sales. So what did we see in this session? We saw that we can take the dimensions that we previously created, put them together into a database that we call a cube, simply by dragging and dropping. We can then drag and drop a file into that database to load data, and we can easily build a calculation just by using the Excel functionality that you're already familiar with. In our next session, we're going to take the results of this and we'll build a dashboard. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and learned something new. If you want to learn more, you can subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos like this one, or you can check out our website at revelwood.com.